All right, here we go. We got the terraformer going in. Going in five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> what happened? All right, guys, here we go. We just had a Kato. We had a motor explode on ignition. It's an older Estes motor. It probably got weather cycled a few times. It just blew the terraformer apart. So that is, that's a Kato, guys. Blew it to pieces. One of the Estes motors. Attempted first flight of the day. <laughs> Everything's here, but wow, we will get in the air with another one. What do you think about that? That was terrible. That was terrible. So, Kato, old D12 Zero engine. That's what's in there, yeah, on ignition, totally exploded. Model Rock 321 at Mountain View Park. Let's get another flight, or let's try another flight. All right, guys, here we go. We got the flying saucer. Here at Mountain View Park, and we are going in five, four, three, two, one. It's more like it, and it had not much altitude on that C60, right back at the pad, pretty much. I mean, that was very low. I don't know, that was really way lower than expected. Definitely go from one exploded to a very low altitude on a C60. Huh, interesting day so far. Was that a C60 or a B? That seemed like a B. I don't know. Did I put a C in there? Let's see. I can't get it out. So that was a B60, so no wonder we didn't get much altitude out of that. But let's go. All right, guys. Next up, we're going to fly the Hex 3. I flew this before in the other part. We're going to fly here again on a C60, so we should get more altitude. The last one, the Flying Saucer, was had a B60 in there. I forgot what engine I had. thought it was a C, but it was a B. That's why we didn't get much altitude at all. So this one should be... A little improvement. Let's go. All right, here we go, guys. We got the Hex 3 going on a C60. Going in five, four, three, two, one. Nice. On a C60. That's how the other one should have went. And it's coming right back down, right to us. And in the field. And there we go. We have a landing. That was a pretty nice launch. Pretty nice launch of the Hex 3. Nice altitude. Let's see if everything survived, which it looked like it did. Let's check these. I had one of these break last time, but pretty nice. Pretty nice. So it curved and arched over me back towards the parking lot. So I have um, a couple with parachutes that I really don't want to go that way. So we will we'll give them a try. Smart Rock 321. All right, guys. Next up is a beta test launch. This is the rocket I'm coming out with. It soon will be available. It's called the Infinity One. It's an 18mm engine rocket with a streamer recovery, engine hook, everything, all the normal stuff. Three fins and those come pretty much, but it will be by Model Rocks 321. You will be able to place your order for these real soon, so stay in touch. We're just going to test it out today on a B66. Probably get up there pretty high since it's small and lightweight, so hopefully I'll get it back. It's Model Rocks 321. All right, here we go. We got the Infinity going on a B66. Got to keep my eye on this. Should be a streamer recovery. Going in five, four. Three, two, one. Still see it, see it, see it. Stream of recovery. Coming down, back in the field, real good. Right down, right above. This is real nice, real nice. The Infinity One, guys, and you can get this rocket from yours truly real soon. Look at that, coming down, stream of recovery, real good. In the breeze, in the breeze. Look at that streamer work. Might be tangled around. Is it tangled around something? Either way, it's getting a nice coast down. Nose cone first, just hit. There we go, the Infinity One. Beta test flight, this is the prototype. These are coming, these are coming. So you guys will be able to pre-order this and I'll get that out to you. Yeah, well, that's a little, little tangulation here, but overall, very good job. Everything held together, yep. Everything's good there. Fins good. Everything's good. That's just some grass shining. But yeah, nice streamer recovery. Cool. I'm glad I used the B66. I knew not to use a C6 anything in this small field. 
that was a nice performing flight. Nice beta test by Model Rocks 321. So you guys will be able to get these real soon. Let's keep going. All right, guys, here we go. We got the R2Q5 going on a D12-3. And we are ready to go. Going in five, four, three, two, one. There he is. Nice. And parachute is out on the R2Q5. Nice. He did a good job. Now I'll just survive this landing. Pretty cool on the R2Q5. Hit pretty hard. I saw fins break off. I saw the clear plastic fin popped off. Hopefully it's fine. Because those are rare and unusual. That's okay. It popped off so it's still good. It broke off clean. Nice. Nice. R2Q5. That was a nice flight. D12-3. Upgraded. Very stable flight. I can pop the end to fin back in. That was pretty cool. I was kind of scared of that, that engine because I had a Kato on the last one. Which was a D12-3. It was one of the old, old SDs one. But that went pretty good. Very nice flight. Of the R2Q5. That was nice. That was nice. Nice. Model Rocks 321. All right, guys. Now for the last flight of the day. I'm going to fly just the sustainer of the Omega. Everybody knows this is a two-stage rocket, really. But I'm just going to fly it as a sustainer in this park. But I'm flying it on a D16 4FJ. Um, it's kind of heavy, so it should put it up there pretty good. But it should still recover in this field. I'm hoping. If not, I have contact information on the rocket if it goes somewhere where I can't get it or I don't see it. So, this is part of it, and I'm going to send it up. Astron Omega going on a D16 4FJ. We're going to do it. Look for the black smoke. All right, guys, it is debriefing time. Welcome back. So we're going to talk about today's launches. But before we get to that, I want to say thanks to B Rad. I got this in the P.O. box recently. Actually, it's a shame. This guy sent this back in December. And I went recently to the P.O. box and I opened it up. And these landers were here these are the landing springs for the flying saucer i'll just go ahead and rip this open so because he taped them to the envelope which i do appreciate him sending these but i'm not sure if he saw or not mr b rad i um i went back to the field and i did find that other spring that was missing from this um from this old uh, ufo flying saucer so but i do thank you and i appreciate these um i will stash these away so if anything ever happens i'll have some extras that goes with this flying sauce. Didn't fly this today, but I flew the other version. So just wanted to say thanks for that. That arrived in the P.O. box. And the P.O. box is in the description along with everything else. So debrief time. All right, let's get started. Today was um, and kind of eventful day. Eventful when it comes to model rocketry. I was flying my Terraformer, which is by Rocketarium. And it had a serious Kato. I thought the thing was high in the sky. I was still kind of like looking up, but it was raining down parts. It took off on a D12-0. I mean, with a loud boom, it exploded, and that was it. It started raining down parts. I looked up in the sky. I did see a piece of like something orange way up there, like a little piece of the flame, but it blew the terraformer apart. This is an interesting Kato. You can see the... The end where the nozzle's at still there, but this is a D12-0, so it's supposed to just, you know, funnel everything through and throw that piece of slag or that hot material forward. But this was interesting. Just blew it apart. But as you can see, everything's here. It will be rebuilt, and I will um, attempt to fly it again. I think most of it's here. Hopefully, I don't have to. Yes, yeah, so we got that part, that part. Yeah, everything's here. I didn't leave anything at the field, I don't think. One of the, yeah, this will be either on this side yeah i'm trying to just figure okay this is on this corner just goes under yeah so this will go under here but wow that was a spectacular um explosion in cato and that one will go there so everything's here for it and i'll get that built back up but wow ouch let me get this off here if i can get this engine out these are some um friction fit so i gotta work on getting this out of here there we go is your push out right now so yeah total kato i mean what caused that what kind of it exploded and just blew it apart but the motor's fine i mean these thick casings are hard to get through 
And this is one of the old D12 set, D12 zeros, I believe. So watch out for Kato's. I think it's an old one I had laying around or old one I had gotten. And um, just bad motor. So that's bound to happen to you. I haven't had a Kato in a long time, but, and I do have some old engines. I've flown many of them and many have worked. But if I can get this put back together, I'll fly this guy again. But that was a terraformer. That was the first attempted launch. The next launch was the flying saucer. I did it on a B. I thought it was a C, but it was a B. Wow, this is bent way out, I see. It flew on a B60, which I thought, you know, was a C. So I flew that. And um, it didn't really give a high flight. It was a B is very too weak for this engine. I don't know if I made a mistake putting that in there. I just can't remember. I thought I thought it would be fine, but C60, which recommended. It was a B60, as you can see right there. Very low, low flight, just up and down pretty much at the launch pad. It didn't go anywhere really. So that was this guy. After that, I believe I followed that up with the Hex 3. So I flew the Hex 3. And the Hex 3 went on a C660, which is a very nice flight. Went up there pretty good. Turned over and landed back like that. The legs are nice and reinforced with glue. I think I reinforced with a low epoxy. So it was a great flight. Great flight of the Hex 3. That's this Hex 3. Then, I'm not sure which one I did next, but I think I went with the kit that I'm going to be releasing soon. I'm going to release, be releasing this Infinity One real soon on a B66. It performed very nice, true and straight. This will go 2,000 feet, I believe, on a C engine. So I just kept it, you know, pretty much close on a B66. It was way up there. Um, stream of recovery. Flew really nice. These will be available to you real soon, so stay tuned for that. Check the link below to the shop. That's where they'll be possibly a pre-order still working everything out so look for this it will be a decal too i will have a decal of some sort for it so it is the infinity one rock simmed out like i said 2000 feet on a c67 engine if you use any of the 18 millimeter um, engines it will go pretty much out of sight out of sight i recommend putting some colored chalk in there just so you can see that puff of smoke but yeah stream of recovery came down it was a very nice flight very nice flight on that one then I believe I flew the R2 Q5, which flew great. Upgraded to a D12 3. It took off the pad really nice. Had a first I had a um a misfire. Been having a little misfires here. I gotta check my clips and stuff. Now the batteries was charged in the controller, so I just gotta check. I think the clips are getting a little worn at like where the wire connects. I'm gonna have to go in and um really adjust that. But R2 Q5 performed well. Got a little of that ignition dust on him, but it was a great, great flyer. I still got some parts to finish. I got to do that part that goes here, that part to go there, but it flew really nice. Parachute popped open, recovered. Let me get that, I can get the V engine out of there now, D12-3. Very nice. I mean, it was pretty much a nice straight flight, and I know these are kind of underpowered. The way they come, they recommend the C engines. Uh, I can get this out of here. They recommend, like, you know, C engines, C63s and stuff like that, but... Oh man, this is hard to get out. Let's see if I can get it pushed. Yeah, they recommend C63s and stuff, but on a D, it's perfect. That seemed to be the perfect amount of power for it. Uh, having trouble? There we go. There we go. There we go. This is another old engine. I was, I was a little nervous about this. Let me get this dust off here. I was a little nervous about this engine initially. Oh, yeah, this is one of the older ones, so I'm going to have to really. Keep an eye on these guys right here, but this one performed well. It lit, lit right up, and um, and it hauled out of there. So it took, took flight. Very nice. You got Kevlar in there. You can pick up some Kevlar from the shop if you need Kevlar. I just put the standard SD chute, 18, 18 inch parachute, no spill hole, and um, and it went well. It went well. So yeah, R2 Q5, very um, very cool flyer, very nice. The legs, one of them popped off on landing, but these to be this old. It held up. I was thinking I was going to have a crack one, but no. It held up good. They go in there like that. And I kind of taped them on. The way they want you to install them is um, with a screw. Right here, I would drill a hole. And there's a screw that goes in. It mates with the part that goes inside of here. Like that little tube piece. But it worked fine with the tape. I just put tape there and a piece of tape there. And it held on. But it popped one popped off on landing. Which could have actually could have saved it. Could have helped it, actually. So, But yeah, that was... um. That was the R2 Q5. Last but not least, it didn't fly, but I was trying to launch my um, Omega 
as a sustainer, just the rocket only without the booster. Because as you know, there's the booster fins, which are right here. And these things can get up there pretty, pretty high. And in that little field, I didn't want to, um, I didn't want any two stage. So I was trying to send it up on a D16 4FJ. That's what I have in here. I'm just using the adapter. Let me see if I can even get this off. Everything seemed to be uh, stuck today. I'm just, let me see. Because I did have to uh, use a file to file this down a little bit just so I can get it. Yeah, let me see what I need. What do I need? If I can get this lifted up, then I can probably pull it out. But yeah, um, didn't go. I had tried first the igniter didn't ignite, and then it did ignite. I mean, it did burn. The igniter just burned itself. So and I didn't have any more with me. So I'm gonna start bringing more supplies with me. I just bring normally what I need. Yeah, it was gonna go on a D16 FJ, D16 at 4 FJ. I thought I was gonna put it up there pretty good, but no flight out of this one. And I didn't have to worry about it going too high and going over into that neighborhood because there are trees all around. I mean, there are to my, which would have been to my, facing the screen, to the left, which would have been towards the west, there was like houses and I think a school over there, it's like a street, and behind me was a parking lot, and I think more, a little bit more to the park, but just some areas that would be hard to get to, but in front of me, to the north, and then behind, directly behind me, close in was the field, so it wouldn't have been too bad landing there, but I thought, you know, but, you know, got another chance to fly it, so I didn't risk losing it. But that was a decent field. You know, guys, know I lost that big, big field that I was flying in. Can't really go there anymore. There's too much, too many signs and just too much stuff starting to happen out there. But I will try some park flights, do some park flying here and there. Um, and that's what we'll be doing here. But some stuff, like I said, some things are coming. I'm going to get this guy fixed up. Like I see, it's, I got all the parts are there, so that makes it easy. But that Cato was a spectacular explosion i mean it's a loud boom out there it was pretty crazy it echoed off the mountain and it went i uh, saw this lady in the background if you saw the footage she stopped and was looking and i was like wow yeah that was a big that was a big boom didn't expect that didn't expect that at all but this is my rocks three two one guys hit that subscribe to the channel button on your way out and like the video also check the links below support the channel there's a cash app there's a web store hit the thumb up and comment and i am out of here my rocks three two one